big decision just out from India's Ministry of Defence, one that doesn't come a moment too soon. India has finally cleared the execution model for its most ambitious combat aircraft project, the Advanced Medium Combat Aircraft or AMCA, a fifth generation stealth fighter that's been in planning for several years now. Now, as someone who scooped this very structure off this plan five years ago, including its park-breaking public-private partnership model that's been announced today, I can say this approval is not just a milestone in India's military aviation journey. It's a necessity made even more urgent by what's happening in our skies right now and earlier this month. Think about it. Operation Sindur has just shown the world that India can and will use air power to impose historic punitive costs on terrorist states across contested and hostile airspace. In such high threat scenarios, stealth isn't a luxury. It's a survival imperative in air power. The decision to greenlight AMCA's model shows that India recognizes this reality and is finally moving with the kind of urgency the project has always deserved. Let's not forget what's swirling around us. China showing off what it calls sixth generation fighters. China also readying to export stealth jets to Pakistan. Russia dangling the Sukhoi Su-57 in front of India. Trump now opening a potential door to the F-35. All of these things are competing for India's attention. In short, every major power is either pitching or posturing in India's stealth arena. And amidst that chaos, this AMCA decision is India's way of saying, we will build our own, we'll decide the future of our skies on our terms with our tech. This isn't just about matching global trends, it's about sovereign capability in an era of grey zone warfare, drone strikes, deep air raids and radar denial operations. AMCA is designed for the future battle space. High threat, high surveillance, high denial environments, exactly the kind of battle space India just navigated with a conventional non-stealth fighter fleet. Yes, the road ahead is long. AMCA's rollout won't be tomorrow. But today's approval by Rajnath Singh cements the industrial architecture, funds the ecosystem and makes the Indian stealth dream real. And for anyone who's tracked India's slow march towards fifth generation capabilities, this is the biggest forward step yet. And I do not say that lightly. From Hindustan Aeronautics and DRDO to private sector giants, this is a mission everyone now needs to rally behind. India's skies deserve nothing less.